What's up everyone? I'm back to you with another video now with this one. This is going to be my favorite movies part 3. Now if you haven't checked out my other two um, videos of my favorite movies, please search those out. So yeah. Now again, this is in no particular order. But yeah, now let's begin. First up we have Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Into the Spider-Verse and Spider-Man across the spider-verse fantastic spider-man films um these films are great the animation's great freaking love his films quite a bit next up we have teenage mutant ninja turtles mutant mayhem now i'm not the biggest teenage mutant ninja turtles fan i know a lot of people will be like what you're not i'm not even though i have all the films i'm not the biggest fan of the Ninja Turtle movies, but if I had to put pick one to put on my favorites list, it would be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: Mutant Mayhem. I really enjoyed this film. The animation is great. The the um the action scenes, some of the action scenes are great, and Superfly as the villain was great. Next up, we have Demolition Man. Now, Sylvester Stallone's always been one of my favorite action stars, and Demolition Man is a great action film. And Wesley Snipes played a great villain in this film. So, yeah, this film has some great, great action sequences. Next up, we have John Carpenter's Vampires. Now, I'm a huge John Carpenter fan. This movie came with a few, quite a few um, vampire movies. And um, John Carpenter's Vampires had to be on the list. It's a fantastic vampire movie, and John Carpenter has always been one of my favorite directors. So yeah, John Carpenter's Vampires, fantastic film. Next up, we have Fright Night. Of course, this had to be on the list too. You know, I'm a, always a sucker for them vampire movies. So, you know, of course, Fright Night had to be on here as well. Fright Night and John Carpenter's Vampires, sometimes I go on and off between which one I like more. But Fright Night... I really enjoyed that film. It's a fantastic vampire film. I love that film quite a bit. Next up, we have um, The Lost Boys. This came with like all three of the Lost Boys movies. I I think two and three are okay, but um, but not nearly as good as the first film. The first film, in my opinion, fantastic vampire film. Love that film from start to finish. It's a very 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 good film. Next up, we have the John Wick. Yeah, the John Wick franchise. Now, what more can I say that hasn't already been said? The first one, great action film. Enjoyed it very much. Second one, even better than the first film. The third movie, it's not as good as the second film in my opinion, but it's still an enjoyable film. The fourth movie, my favorite, my personal favorite out of the John Wick movies. Now, of course, all four of these movies had to be on my favorites list. I enjoy these movies quite a bit. Next up, we have the first two Expendables movies. Now, I have all the Expendables movies, but if I had to pick two of them to be on my favorites list, it would be these two. Um, because... Three was okay. Part three was okay. Part four was okay, but but one and two is the best in my opinion. You know, Jason Statham and Sylvester Stallone in this franchise was just amazing, and this one or two has everything I want to see in an Expendables movie. So, of course, the Expendables one and two had to be on the list. Next up, we have the entire. Rocky franchise. Now, I enjoyed the entire Rocky franchise, in, including Rocky Five. I know a lot of people hate that film, but I enjoy all nine of the Rocky f films. Like I enjoy all nine of these movies. Um, Rocky One great, Rocky Two great, Rocky Three great, Rocky Four great. Even Rocky Five is great in my opinion, and even Rocky Five had to be on my favorites list. And um. And the first Creed movie, great. The second Creed movie is great. And the third Creed movie is great. This franchise is just 
incredible in my opinion. Um, they have some of the best boxing um, scenes, some of the best training montages, the best soundtracks like Eye of the Tiger and much more like that. So yeah, this franchise had to be on the list. Next up, we have Tango and Cash. Now, I enjoy Cobra, but it's not on my favorites list, but Tango and Cash. Now, um, Kurt Russell was a decent action star. Sylvester Stallone is probably my favorite action star of all time. Um, Tango and Cash is a great buddy cop action film. Buddy cop comedy action film. Um, this just the charm in this film was great. The freaking soundtrack in this film was great. The action scenes, the comedic moments was great. There are some heartfelt moments and ways in this film, which is really good. Um, this movie is fan freaking tastic. And if you're a fan of Sylvester Stallone or even Kurt Russell, check this film out because both of them get plenty of screen time in this awesome, awesome film. So yeah, I know this video wasn't as long as the last one, but even though the last one wasn't even that long either, it's only 12 minutes long, but this video, but I just hope you enjoyed this video. So yeah, I guess over this video, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe and share. Also hit the bell, so you know when the video is uploaded. Peace out. Hope you enjoyed this video. I guess I'm out. Peace. I might do a part four. I don't know yet. Peace.